It's Thursday, March 28th, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, TSLY, CONY, MSTY, and NVDY. Okay, so let's get to it. We have three of the four had trades yesterday. What you see on the screen is Kony, and then this is Misty, and then that is NVIDIA. But I'll start in order <coughs> of screen prints. And then since Tesla did not have a trade, I'll do them last. So if you look at the intraday trades yourself, um, you're pretty, you know, if you watch my videos, you pretty much understand them at this point, I, I believe. Because um, when you see three transactions, um, it's a buy call, it's a sell put, that's adding to the synthetic, and then it's a sell call. So the top two involve the synthetic position, plus or minus. You know, in this example, they're adding, so it's plus. And then down below, they're adding a weekly call. Um, and in that example, it says April 5th, so they went into next week. But let's plug it into the spreadsheet and make some sense of it. So Kony only has one synthetic position. It's a synthetic 250. A coin is priced above that. So this is currently, you know, this currently has a value to them if they decided to close it. But regardless, yesterday they added 425 contracts um, and overall that cost them more, you know, that cost them money to open because, you know, again, the value of the call is greater than the put for the synthetic. But, <clears throat> you know, all in all, it was around $500,000 to $600,000 uh, expense. But if they decided to close the synthetic, they can make $11 million. But, you know, this expires April 19th, so they're not going to close it. So if we go to the March tab, how did Coin do yesterday? Coin went down 3.79%. Um, Coney only went down 1.64%. So not, not a terrible day. Um, you know, based on the weekly calls, it was actually a good day. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, here's the contracts they added. 425, they made 470 per share. They chose a 292.50 strike price. And that's 13.95% out of the money. Today's Thursday. Today's the last trading day of this week because the next day is Good Friday. So we have today and then we have all five days next week. So we have six trading days. So that's, that's, a, that's a good move, I think. Um, again, it's crypto, so you never know. Cash and treasuries. Cash is in the negative now. Um, it looks like they moved a lot of money into that money market fund. Um, but all in all, cash and treasuries went down by $1 million, you know, partially because of that synthetic uh, position because they only made about you know 199,000 on the weekly call position outstanding shares 13 million 325,000 weekly income is still at a loss of 6.2 million now let's keep going active tab all right so today we have 14,360 contracts uh, with a 267.50 strike and this is 4.21% out of the money. This expires today. I don't know if you remember, but two days ago, the Coney manager was getting the poop emoji. And guess what? Coin went down. And now they look pretty damn good. You know, 4.21% out of the money with one trading day. That's, that's not bad at all. So obviously, no more poop emoji for them. They passed it on to someone else. And then they have 425 contracts. 292.50 again this is for next week six trading days 13.95 percent out of the money so as of right now coney looks pretty good coin price 256.70 30 day iv is 87.61 percent 30 day chart always looks good now um one thing one note i added the having is on april 19th so that's coming up very soon and then coin will have earnings on may 2nd uh again coney price is 28.70 Potential capital gains for, you know, this week and next week, $1.17 so far. Here's the reaction of the Coney fund manager. They look very, you know, happy after what they have gone through. All right, let's take a look at the payment information. Uh, declaration date should be coming up next week, I believe. So I'm going to have to do an estimate probably soon. Have to get with it. You know, things are coming up lately fast. All right, synthetic income, 88 million. Weekly call debit, 6.2. So net income, 81.9 million. So with all income, we're looking at 615 per share. But again, if we take the NAV reserve into consideration, 
all that means is, you know, they, they paid out more than they could afford so far in this fiscal year, this taxable year. So if they trued that up, then they would pay out 407. I think they'll pay out much less. I think they'll pay between the two to three dollar range, probably the low twos. But who knows? I'll give an estimate soon. All right. Uh, here's the holdings. So basically, right now, uh, if you look at the, the the pink versus the orange, the orange is winning, which means synthetic is good. Um, and then we have the blue. This is the only call that expires today. That would cost them about two point seven million dollars to close as we stand and they made approximately 11 million dollars so good job coney fund manager unless coin jumps and explodes today you know up five percent they should be okay net asset value 381 million um, nav is 2863 and then the trade price is 2870 so um you know no discount for you so that's it for Cody. Let's go to the pre-market though. Again, um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's five. This will show. Uh, 5.38 a.m. Uh, for pre-market, coin is up 2.3%. So it's in the green. And it's okay. We can afford 2.3%, but we'll see how the day goes. All right, let's go back to our trades. Uh, Misty also had a trade, three transactions. So when you see three transactions, yep, two for synthetic, one for the call. So we have a buy call, we have a sell put. Okay, so they added 22 contracts to the synthetic, and then they used those 22 contracts right away, and they sold a, week, a weekly call into next week. Let's go to our spreadsheet, because without the spreadsheet, that all means nothing, right? All right, so here it is. They added the 22 contracts. Well, yep, the call costs more than the put because uh, look at the price. You know, the strike price is lower, much lower than the actual price of MSTR. MSTR is approaching $2,000, by the way, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah, they added that, which cost them, what did it cost them? About 500000 but that's okay. They can more than afford it. Uh, this synthetic, again, this expires April 19th, but if they rolled it, they would actually make $5 million in profit, which they do not need to do because they don't need that money. They have enough money to pay you guys this month. All right, let's take a look at the March tab. Uh, yesterday, MSTR, guess what? It went up. Shocker. It went up 2.25%. MSTY is, you know, it's pretty much capped. It went up 0.22% though. So, not bad. 22 contracts uh, for the weekly trade. Again, that expires next week. So that's six trading days. Um, and they did a 23.50 uh, strike. 22.45% out of the money. That's pretty good. Good move. Cash and treasuries. Overall went up by 2.9 million. It looks like they moved money into the money market as well. All right. So how are they doing on the weekly calls alone? Well, for one... Just so you know, they hit the million million uh, share mark. So outstanding shares is 1,050,000. So congratulations, Misty. You are <coughs> probably one of the fastest growing funds I've seen because, you know, this is a massive, massive fund. I, I don't know. It's huge. But uh, anyway, income for the weekly calls, 1.3 million. Total distribution from that could be $1.26. Daily income produced five cents a day, five cents a day, and then daily yield 0.11%. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Active tab. Here we go. All right. Oh, here's a mouthful. Well, we have two contracts expiring today, which is Thursday, March 28th. 188 of them, which is the majority, 1,800 strikes, 6.21% in the money. Yes, that's very unfortunate. We're going to lose money on that unless MSTR tanks today, which, you know, clearly based on historical, it's doubtful. Then we have two contracts, 2130 strike, still 10.99% out of the money expiring today. So that one or those two are secure. 
Um, 17 contracts, 2130 strike, same 10.99% out of the money, except this one expires in six days. That one's probably not safe. And then we have 22 contracts. This is the newest position, 2350 strike, 22.45% out of the money. That one hopefully should be okay, expiring next week. Again, MSTR price closing in to $2,000. They are at 1,919.16. 30-day IV continues to stay high, um, 145.77%. Again, with the higher implied volatility, what that does is it brings in more attractive premiums. So that's why they're able to go out so far out of the money and still make a decent amount of premium. 30-day chart, very very good misty price yes believe it or not it's 44 dollars 90 do you believe i mean that's crazy uh, i also have the note for the bitcoin having which is applicable here um, again april 19th and their earnings is april 29th <coughs> potential capital gains for this week and next so far 41 cents not like well no that's definitely not right yeah, this is not working here. Let, let, let's update this formula. Well, we got D, D15. D15 to 18. Yeah, just got to add 18. Do, 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 138, there you go. Potential capital gains, 138. And then that would bring them to $46. Yes, that's crazy. Reaction, Misty Fund Manager, you know, he's he's had a great track record, but he's still holding his eyes because he has a call that he's gonna, you know, he's gonna lose. This guy doesn't lose a lot, but he's gonna lose that call probably. All right, let's take a look at the payment information as we approach declaration day very soon. Synthetic income, 8 million. Short call income, 1.3 million. Total net income, 9.4 million. And yes, we have more outstanding shares. So now you have to share this income with other people. That means your total income per share has gone down. It's down to 896. And now it's a short call income of $1.26. So, you know, let's be realistic. We weren't going to get paid $12 anyway. So, you know, what are they going to pay? Who knows? You know, they'll pay a fraction of this. They'll pay. They'll probably pay more than the short call per share. Again, I see them just being the first fund to pay three bucks, and I think that's a win, win in itself. But you know, we'll see. Again, I'll make the make a prediction soon. All right, holdings. Again, pink versus orange. Orange is greater than pink, which means synthetic income. <coughs> Synth or, I'm sorry, synthetic position is doing well. Uh, the uh, blue or what expires today. So you can see the 1800, it would cost them $2.4 million as of right now to close. And if you look at the short call income, you know, it'll flip it to a loss, which, you know, it's unfortunate. They've been doing really, really good, but it's inevitable, man. You, you can't stop this train. You can't get pretty. You know, if we go back, let's take a look actually. This was the 1800 strike for 328. Let's see, like, what was that out of the money? 1800. Okay, here it is. Yeah. It was 18% out of the money when they, they did on the 22nd. So, yeah, unfortunately, that was not enough. I mean, they did go 18% out of the money. So, it's hard to be like, you know, you're, you, you, know you suck because they did go 18% out of the money. So, it's just a powerhouse of a fund. Uh, net asset value forty six point nine million. Nav is forty four seventy one, and trade price is forty four ninety. So no discount here either. And let's take a, a look at the pre market. I think you know we saw coin was up, so they kind of follow each other, and yeah, man, whoo, they're up two point nine nine percent in the pre market for you know it's five forty six a.m. Uh, the price is one thousand nine seventy nine eighty. So again, that's nuts, 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 nuts. All right, our newest member of the fund, the goat Nvidia. Only two transactions: a buy close and a sell call. What that means is they closed out a weekly call and they uh, added a new. 
Keep in mind, this old weekly call I did not have in my spreadsheet, so I could not tell if it was a profit or not, but simply by looking at the execution price of $0.08, it's pretty safe to say that they won that trade. And then obviously they sold a new call into uh, next week. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Again, I didn't have to capture it because I'm not doing an estimate uh, in the month of, you know, for the March, uh, you know, activity. I'm only capturing the data now just so I can get caught up and with this fun. So no changes to the synthetic, but, um, you know, their synthetic strike is 915. Their price is 902. So right now, uh, if they rolled it, it would be a $1.8 million loss. But their synthetic expires <coughs> May 17th. So they got time. Ah, sorry, I had to take a sip of water. All right, let's see how NVIDIA did yesterday. NVIDIA went down 2.5%, and then NVIDIA went down 2.46%, so nothing unusual there. Uh, weekly call, again, they added, um, yeah, was it three? Yeah, 3,725, yeah, 3,725 contracts, which is most of them. Um, they added a 940 strike, and they made 1064 uh, per share for that. That's... 4.16% out of the money going into next week, which again, that's, you know, that's for them, that's kind of tight, um, but you know, is what it is. Cash and treasuries, what are we looking at here? Cash is negative for some reason. Uh, they moved a lot of cash to the 613 and 1115 treasury. So I don't know why they'd move enough to put them in the negative, but regardless, cash and treasuries actually as a whole went up 6.8 million. Maybe they miscalculated. Outstanding shares for NVIDIA, 12,075,000. I'm not gonna go over weekly income because again, it's not true numbers yet. Active tab, um, we have, you know, going into next week, two sets of contracts, most of them 3,725. Uh, you know, 3,725 contracts, 940 strike, 4.16% out of the money. Um, again, a little tight, but, you know, it's still, you know, if you look at the 30-day IV, honestly, it's less than a Tesla, and they actually, <coughs> they go more out of the money, which, you know, explain that to me. Anyway, they also have 150 contracts, 995 strike, that's 10% out of the money. So, again, they're, you know, they're way more out of the money than TSLY ever is, uh, which is crazy. So anyway, let's move on. NVIDIA price 902.50, 30-day IV 46.57%. 30-day chart up and down, up and down, but all around pretty good. Next earnings is May 22nd, and we have the, uh, you know, their price is 29.30. Potential capital gains for this week and next, $1.29. My reaction, I did not update. You know, still kind of praising them for being the GOAT. I know there's a couple other GOATs, but, you know, NVIDIA's one of the originals, and they have done well since inception, so we got to give them some props. Payment tab is useless for now because I didn't, you know, I'm not going to update anything yet until we get past the, you know, this X date. Um, outstanding holdings, if we take a look at orange versus pink, pink is greater than orange, which means they're not in a profitable position for this synthetic. Now, if we look at the two weekly calls, again, these both expire next week. So pretty much irrelevant at this point to speak of. But overall net asset value for this fund is 353 million. Their NAV is 29.24. And the trade price is 29.30. We're noticing a consistency, something consistent here. And the trade price is, has greater than been greater than the NAV on all three. All right, let's take a look at the... Uh, the pre-market for NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA is uh, red, not red by much, but it's down 0.61% in the pre-market. It's Again, it's 5.51 a.m. and it's down 0.61% to 8.96.95. They don't have any contracts expiring today, so, you know, if it stays flat or goes down, obviously that's okay. If it goes up a little, that's okay too. But let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla had no trades. Um, again, Tesla has a 175 
They have two synthetic positions. Both expire May 17th. The 175 now, they can make money. 7.2 million if they roll it. But, you know, that's very doubtful. They have a 170, also worth money, 34.5 million. But again, this expires May 17th. So the likelihood of rolling it, I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, Tesla has been on the kind of upwards. Nothing drastic, you know, nothing like huge. But uh, it looks like they are trending up. <laughs> Finally. Who would have thought, right? All right. So overall, Tesla went up 1.22%. Tesla went up 0.43% because they're pretty capped. Uh, cash and treasuries. We are looking at cash going down, treasuries going up, and overall 2.8 million increase for cash and treasuries. So outstanding shares for TSLY, 44,925,000. Total weekly income, 24.5 million. Total distribution payment from the weekly income alone calculates to be 55 cents, which comes to three cents a day and a daily yield of 0.2%. So weekly call wise, they're pretty much doing the best. Um, However, that party is over, right? So if Tesla, we have one trading day, if Tesla stays green, we're gonna lose money. So we have 30,000 contracts, 320, I'm sorry, 30,325 contracts, 172.50 strike, that's 4.08% in the money. And then they have 11,635 contracts, that's a 175 strike, and that's 2.69% uh, in the money. So what is our break even? If we go to both positions when they open them, uh, the break even, I always like to take the lowest of the two is 175.17. Uh, Currently, Tesla price is 179.83. So yes, as of right now, we are going to lose money. How much money? Well, we'll take a look on the last tab for that. Again, Tesla price 179.83, 30-day IV 55.27, and 30-day chart is finally starting to look a little better. Tesla price, again, this is post reverse split, 1620. So, you know, you look at the old days, it'd be 810. Um, potential capital gains, unfortunately, um, zero. And yes, they continue to have the poop emoji. And you ask why? Well, when they sold the calls last week, you know, they sold them how, much, how far out of the money? 0.98% out of the money and 2.44% out of the money. Was that enough? Clearly not. And what did they make? Overall, they made 10 million. Okay. How much are they going to lose? Well, if we skip to the holdings tab, right now, they're going to lose 28 million. So the fact that they were able to, to, let, to collect 10 million last week, oh, great for them. But if we have to pay 28 million, you know, that's, again, back to my uh, the, the favorite phrase, that's yielding nothing. That's yielding actually negative. So uh, that's not good. So that's why, again, my opinion on how they handle Tesla, I don't like how they do it. So that's why I'm, I still own Tesla a little, um, but I am selling out as I, you know, I'm using the funds to do my own options on TSLL. And I've already told you guys that a million times. But again, <coughs> I love Yield Max. I love how they handle the other funds, but the way they handle Tesla and the way Tesla moves, I'm just not a fan anymore, and I don't want to be a part of it. However, I still will cover it. I just don't agree with some of the some of the positions and what they're doing. You know, granted, they know more than me, but again, it's my money, so it's my choice. And I choose to, you know, not be a part of it. But either way, I'll still cover it because, you know, it's Tesla and it's Tesla. It's the, the originator. So anyway, yes, poop emoji and earnings date is uh, April 17th. I did not check curve, but I can imagine they'd have no update as well. Uh, their 230 strike is 27.9% out of the money. So they have, you know, much more uh, capital appreciation to, to get. All right. So if we look at the payment information, synthetic loss still sits there at 171 uh, million. So regardless, you know, they're not even close to making that back on the other synthetics. But let's just look at the short call income for payment purposes, 24.5 million income, which comes to 55 cents per share. All right. So they've made 24.5 million so far for the entire month. Right. And they busted their ass to make that 24.5 million. 
and they go t they go tight in the calls and they could lose it all. Just to show you guys, like the risk of playing the calls so tight, that's what could happen. And again, it's just I just don't. I sometimes I don't understand it. I get the greed, and I get it. The premium maybe wasn't there, so the only the, the best premium available was at the closer strike price. Believe me, I get it, but I just don't care. I don't, you know. To risk it because you want to yield 50%, it's not worth the risk versus reward. Not on Tesla. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to harp on that anymore because some of you get sick of that. 727.5 million is the net asset value. The NAV is 1620 and the trade price is 1620. So at least no you know, no deal, but no ripoff here. So that's where we stand on uh, you know, TSLY. We kind of so all in all, we need Tesla to go down today. So let's take a look at the pre-market. All right, Tesla fund manager, heart racing. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? We hit refresh. What time is it? It's 5.57 a.m. Oh my God. You know what? This was green not that long ago. It's now down 0.32%. Oh, 0.31%. Again, it's pre-market and we got plenty of time till the market opens. So in the reality, this means nothing. But if Tesla goes down, you know, everything I just said is forgotten and they could, they could win the weekly calls. Um, but they could not. You know, it's it's a it's a risky game. But anyway, uh, Tesla price in the pre-market is 179.38. And right now it's down 0.25%. So that's the moral of the story. That's the update for all four funds. That is a big mouthful. Um, and that is a lot. Uh, again, I plan. <coughs> I already said I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to cover Coney. And Misty through the having the Bitcoin having, which is one more month, and then after that, I'm probably going to drop Misty, and I'm going to keep Tesla, Coney, and then Nvidia as you know the ones I'll cover. I think it's a good mix. Um, however, I do still I want to get one of the I want to get like AMZ in there sooner or later because I really think that's one of their best funds. Um, Unfortunately, I just don't know who to drop because people love Coney. I don't know if they'll love it after the having. Maybe they won't. So maybe I'll drop Coney. Maybe I'll drop Tesla because of their poor performance. I don't know. I got to think about it. I'm probably going to do a vote one day. So guys, just to keep a lookout because in the end, you know, I'll, maybe I'll just say who will I drop out of these three, and then you guys will, you guys pick, and then it's your own fault if you know if you get upset, right? Because you got to vote. You see a poll, you got to vote because I'm going to go by the majority. Um, but either way, guys, uh, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So, you know, do your own research. Again, I just give my opinion, my thoughts as I'm sharing my journey to retire on dividends. And I'm also trying to share a little bit of knowledge. So hopefully you learn a thing or two on how these funds work. You know, so... Based on that and your own research, hopefully you make the right decision for yourself and hopefully you could retire early on dividends or distributions or whatever you want to call it. But either way, if you enjoy this content, as always, please hit that like button. Uh, I know the videos are unfortunately going to be a little longer because we have to do four funds. Um, but, you know, some may like it, some may not. But either way, uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comments down below. And outside of that... Uh, have a great day. Later.